Good morning, welcome back. I'm currently getting ready for the gym. I have been so incredibly slack with my training, but well, it's been one of those times where I am trying to figure out whether I need to like give myself grace and rest or tell myself to get over it and push harder. <laughs> but I've just been letting myself rest a little bit. Um, I've just been feeling so incredibly anxious. Winston, you're in the way. And this isn't always the case, but I think going to the gym today will make me feel better. If you're a person who thinks that people shouldn't wear makeup to the gym, I might not be the person to watch. Oh my gosh, my nose just got so itchy. I don't know much, but what I do know is that if I leave the house feeling and looking cute, I have a much better day. If I'm going to the gym, I lift heavier. If I'm going out for friends, I'm a nicer friend. <laughs> Life is just better when I feel cute. And if that means putting on a little bit of makeup for the gym, that's what I'm gonna do. Lots of blush is a must and I don't make the rules. <laughs> ASMR for you. I don't use powder products very often, but I will always set my eye under my eye, you know what I mean? Cause I'm a, I'm a wrinkly, crinkly girl. This powder smells like something that I've been trying to figure out for weeks. It's so frustrating. It's like trying to remember where you know an actor from in a movie. So if anyone knows what the Fenty Beauty translucent powder. Oh, whoa, hi. If you know what this smells like, please let me know. It'll really make my day. I'm not very good at using this eyebrow gel, but I want to be. Are they too crazy? No, oh, I don't think so. Uh, actually, don't care enough. I swear 16 was yesterday. You know what I would actually like to do? I would like to heat up my eyelash curler. I feel like I've made a great mistake. I feel scared. I will say I curled them much nicer. Okay. I'm gonna begin my outfit before I do my hair so that I don't get it all disheveled. I do think about my gym outfits often, so I already have some ideas in my head. I'm thinking either red vital seamless. I haven't worn this as a set yet. I think it's so cute. Or either one of these bandeau bras. This is just the training bandeau and this is the legacy with black vital seamless. Ah! I really don't know. I wish this was real time so you could just tell me your opinions what to wear. Oh my gosh, this is not that deep. Why am I taking this so seriously? Okay, we've gone with the red. My issue, my issue with my hair is it's quite dirty. Like I will be washing it tonight, but do I try and dry shampoo it or do I just slick it back? This is my issue every other day, to be honest. She's dirty. Should I slick it? I think we're gonna slick it. I'm gonna put it up in like a mock ponytail of what it's kind of gonna look like. And then I'm gonna put the mousse in. Then once your hair is basically soaked, you know when the little brush, this brush honestly sucks. I need to buy a better one, but you want like smaller bristles than a brush like this. I don't know why I'm giving a tutorial because I feel like I'm really bad at this, but you can take advice from me if you like. Then you just retie the hair tie with everything a bit more neater. I feel like I can never get my sleek ponytails high enough, but that's because I like to have the part down the middle and I find it extremely difficult. <sighs> My arms are sore. Lucky we're training legs today. What do I feel like this is the worst ponytail I've ever done? <laughs> that will have to do. I'm gonna put some hair oil in the ends as well. Look how long my ponytail is. And then I am very basic. I feel like the sound, the what? I feel like the smell of this lasts really long in your hair. And I love when I'm in the gym and I'm just waving my hair around and I can just smell it. Spare hair tie in case I wanna put my hair up. Apple Watch goes back on. I really only wear my Apple Watch when I'm walking or at the gym. Other than that, I can't stand wearing it on my wrist. And it's not connected to my new phone, so it doesn't send me any notifications, which I kind of love because I feel like it's a bit too much having your notifications going off all the time. <sighs> got him. I just got a brand new tub of the Sour Worms Pre and it makes me so happy to see this so full. I feel like my coffee did nothing for me this morning. So I'm gonna do a full skirt, skirving. So fun. Lol. A bit tight. Nailed it. I've arrived and the car park is full, which is not a good sign. Okay, so this is my first time using a mic and like I'm so incredibly nervous. Hmm, I'm a loss. These two 10 kilo weights are different colors and like tell me why that's stressing me out. Why am I so nervous? Okay, 40 kilos, that's okay. Just a nice slow set of 10. Wow, I don't think this feel good. Wow, I really expected them to feel like absolute trash. My heart is racing. I've never seen the gym so busy in my life. I'm so nervous. I'm just gonna hide on the floor for a quick second. Recoup. 
I just made eye contact while I'm talking to myself. I need to not bounce at the bottom. What am I doing? <sighs> Better. I've lost count, not gonna lie. Sheesh. Let's bump it up another five, I think. I think I'm just gonna increase weight, decrease reps because that's what I feel like doing and I'm in the boss. I'm in charge here. This mic is tickling my neck, I ain't gonna lie. I'm being very mentally, what's the word I'm looking for? Challenged today. Oh my god, that was heavy, so that's not a good sign. Two more sets, one at 60, and then we'll see for the second, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, good. Let's go six to eight. Six to eight, my a Six will have to do. I'm hungry. What am I gonna eat after this? That's gonna determine whether I push myself or not. Last set, I'm gonna aim for six. I will most likely only get four, but a win is a win, you know? That's going to take me a little bit to recover from. I need to get some spray. If you're not wiping your machinery, I am judging. I'm getting overstimulated by my t-shirt, so she's coming off. Imagine if I just wore it like this. Would you judge me? Would you still be friends with me? My question is, will there ever be a time where like, I won't be embarrassed in the gym? We're doing Bulgarians, 10 on each side. The dumbbells are too far away, so I've got a kettlebell. It's 12 kilos. We'll see how the weight feels. Hehehe, <laughs> I'm nervous. Whoa, I didn't even stop in that set. Like, I'm impressed with myself. Where's the bench? Four more, no stopping. Hold me accountable. <laughs> that was quite good. Okay, so we're jumping from a 12 to a 16, which doesn't feel like a smart decision, but it's the only option. And we're not itchy anymore, which is a bad sign. Imagine if this mic just wasn't working. I also am like not following a gym program right now because I have a membership at Good Life and I never quit. And I feel like I want to do never quit like three to four days a week and then a session at Good Life for the rest of my sessions. But does that mean I'm just like making up the sessions as I go? Because like I'm not following a, like a two or one day program. Do you know what I mean? So I just decided I'm training legs today and I've just come in and made up my own stuff, which is fun. But like, does that mean I'm going to see progress? But also, as long as I'm just getting some movement in, I feel like that's all that matters. You know what I mean? Okay. I should probably stop procrastinating. This was so much heavier. Oh my god. Okay, that was way harder than the first set. Don't stop, don't stop. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're gonna sit. I think my watch is lying to me. It says my heart rate's only 176. Stop watching me puff, I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. I've only done two exercises and they've knocked the breath out of me. My living breath. Move ring clothes because I'm a fitness queen. Let's check on Winston with my furbo. Stop it right now. Are you kidding me? Why is he literally the cutest thing ever? You know those moments where sometimes like things in life just happen and the way you respond to them really just like shows how much you've grown. I had one of those moments this morning. I wasn't on my phone until after my walk, which I was so proud of myself for. And then I opened my phone and the first thing I see is a comment on my Instagram photo calling me a whale. <laughs> calling me a big fat whale. And I genuinely laughed. Six months ago, I literally would have cried at that comment. <laughs> Deleted the comment and moved on. She said, you look like a whale, sorry to say. Are you sorry? I don't think you are. Anyway, big love. Also, please don't give me sympathy for that. I literally don't care. It's one of the things where I was like, wow, I've grown and I am the bigger person. Shout out future you still. Also, I feel like a bad bee in this outfit. Okay, last set, I'm procrastinating. Don't be a sook, get it done. <laughs> wow, I didn't stop, that's literally so good. Three, two, one. Oh my god. I feel a bit lightheaded after that, I'm not gonna lie. I won't lie. I get very embarrassed doing hip thrusts. Firstly, setting up the barbell is so embarrassing. Second of all, getting in under the barbell is so embarrassing for me. My issue with hip thrusts is I'm a big girl, right? No shame about it. But therefore, the bar, if it's sitting on my hips, it doesn't sit on the ground. So it's just embarrassing. So don't watch me. Stop being a little sork, Georgia. Oh my god. We made it. The bench is too high, but the bench is also moving, it's just not ideal. That was so embarrassing. The chair literally skirting away from me in the background. I wish I could see my feet. That was way better. I don't know why, but the bench didn't move. I appreciate it. <sighs> you know when you're sitting down, you can kind of feel your glutes like pulsing, pulsating. That's when you know you're in trouble. Pop off. The gym is playing some Miley Cyrus, also known as Miley Stewart, also known as Hannah Montana, if you weren't aware. I've been here for over an hour already. I blame you. I blame talking to the camera as to why this has taken me so long. So that's on you. <laughs> I'm kidding. 
Thank you for being here with me. It's honestly very comforting. Once I got past the scariness of talking to myself in public, it's really comforting knowing that you're here with me listening. Don't learn from me. I should have put that disclaimer at the start. I don't know a single thing. <gasps> I'm trapped. Did anyone watch that show growing up? Trapped? Like the kids getting trapped in the tower? Why was it a children's show? Is my question. Am I making this all up in my head? I'm gonna need to Google that. My glue's on fire. <sighs> Sheesh. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if I'm doing these right, so please don't judge me if I am doing them wrong. I can feel it in my hamstrings, but I just feel like something's wrong. I find it so hard to remember to keep my toes down. When I'm doing glute exercises, my toes just like fly off the floor and I have no stability. Whereas if I put my toes on the floor, I can feel it straight away in my hamstring and glute. It's so strange. <sighs> I actually quite enjoyed that. I just finished my session. I was gonna end off with 10 minutes on the Stairmaster and then they were all out of order. So I guess it's the perfect excuse to not do a cardio finisher. <laughs> but I actually really enjoyed doing a little mic'd up session. If you want me to do more of these, please let me know. It genuinely felt like I was just doing my workout with a friend. So thanks for joining me. Thanks for keeping me company. I hope you have the best day and I will see you in a video very soon, I'm sure. Little forehead kiss.